Hello. As you may or may not know, Jack Horner and another guy, Hans Larsen, are trying to make a dinosaur using a chicken embryo. Uh, he's written a book on it a couple of years ago. Basically, this is what they're basically trying to do. As a chicken develops, uh, it looks kind of like a dinosaur already, or closer to a dinosaur than does a chicken when it's in its egg. It has a longer tail, and its arm bones look kind of more like Archaeopteryx than a chicken. And as it develops in its egg, uh, certain genes switch on and off uh, during its development. That uh, there's a gene that sucks in its tail or absorbs the tail and fuses the arm bones. And what they're trying to do is to find those genes and stop them. And once they do stop them, uh, hopefully uh, it'll produce a longer tail, clawed arms, and teeth. And uh, it all depends on basically what they're. I just said this. They're trying to find the gene. Yeah, I'm, re I'm so redundant. Anyway, they're finding the genes, switching them on and off to make them look more like a dinosaur. And when they're finished, it should look a lot like this. Okay, it's not going to look quite like that. It's going to be smaller and not as many people falling to their death. It's actually going to look like this. Well, that was more of a Paris Rolla Finch. Ah, uh, yes, that's the picture I'm talking about. But what I want to know is what's going to happen with this animal once it's been hatched. First, let's talk about how long it'll take. Hans Larsen said himself that the birth of this animal is all depend dependent on funding. Uh, so whenever they get them the right amount of money to make it, that's when they can do it. He's pretty, so far he's pretty certain that they can do it. It just depends on funding. Second is ethical issues. He also says that so far, as of right now, there are no ethical issues because nothing is being born, nothing's hatching, uh, there's no chicken horses running around right now. That was super redundant. Uh, anyway, uh, but I'm sure once this thing does hatch, that uh, there's going to be some group out there that's going to complain about it, saying you shouldn't be doing this kind of controversy that will bring up. And also, once this thing is born, I want to know what's going to happen to it. Uh, like, are they going to are they going to make it be like cool? Now we know we can do it. What now? Are they going to just give it up right there? Is this one? Are they just going to make this one and nothing? Now they know they can do it. Um, is this one going to be on display? Are they going to? keep it in a lab for its whole life and just maybe show the public footage of it? Is, is it going to be a tourist attraction? Are they going to have it maybe donated to a zoo or something, some wildlife place or somewhere where it can be in a closure and people will come see it? And uh, will there be more? He says, again, he says it's all dependent on funding, on when this one is born. So uh, will once they know they can do it, Will that bring in more funding to make, you know, a whole batch of these animals? And will someday in the future, will, will there be household pets? Will every home have a chicken, a source, a cat, and a dog? I want to know is what you guys think. What is going to be, what's going to happen with this one animal that's being born? And what issues do you think it's going to raise? And what is going to be the future of this animal? Uh, tell me in the comments below. We'll have a cool discussion about it. I'm also going to post... Uh, some other videos in the down description area and if for some reason I can't well then I just look really stupid right now thanks for watching and have a groovy day guys